Number 10, Drew Barrymore. Drew faced intense backlash for her decision to resume taping her talk show despite the months long writer's strike that was ongoing this year. This is what made her wildly unpopular. According to the SAG AFTRA rules, as long as hosts or guests don't discuss or promote struck work, she would have been in the clear, since the network code agreement allows daytime hosts to perform hosting duties. But the thing is that her show operates with union writers, so new episodes would have required moving forward without their writers on staff. At the time, the WGA condemned her decision. They said Drew Barrymore should not be on the air while her writers are on strike fighting for a fair deal. In reality, shows like this cannot operate without writing, and that is struck work. What really got people angry about all of this was the hypocrisy. Since back in May, Drew stepped down as host of the MTV Movie and TV Awards in a show of support and solidarity to the striking writers. At the time, she said, I have listened to the writers, and in order to fully respect them, I will pivot from hosting the MTV Movie and TV Awards Awards live in solidarity with the strike. But then only a few months later, it seemed as though she had gone back on her stance, which is why she was immediately labeled a scab. Number nine, Selena Gomez. The actress and singer completely lost her cool when fans started attacking her new boyfriend, Benny Blanco. Now she is in hot water for defending him and going on an embarrassing Instagram rant professing her love for him. All of this crazy drama started when Selena confirmed that she has been secretly dating the music producer for six months and no one knew a thing about about it. But as soon as she revealed their relationship on Instagram, her own fans started attacking her in the comment section. And things got heated very quickly. People accused Benny of not treating Selena well and disrespecting her in the past. They dug up an interview he did in 2020 where he called Selena a cookie cutter pop artist, while at the same time he was praising her ex-boyfriend Justin Bieber. And if you watch this interview, it's pretty obvious he does not think too highly of her as an artist. He also makes fun of her makeup line and insinuates that she is not a serious musician. But when fans brought this clip to Selena's attention, she got extremely defensive and started ranting about how she just doesn't care. She wrote, he is still better than anyone I've ever been with. Facts. She also told another upset fan who said Benny has put a curse on her that he has been the best thing that has ever happened to her. But the fighting did not stop there. One person brutally roasted Selena for her taste in men and things just got worse. Number eight, Cardi B. It's no secret that poor concert etiquette seems to be on the rise, and performers are getting attacked on stage at their own shows. But unlike other artists, Cardi B seems to be the only one physically fighting back. And maybe she went a little too far. So a few months ago, a drink was thrown at her while she was performing Bodak Yellow in Las Vegas. She got splashed in the face and her orange swimsuit got soaked with whatever was in that cup. Then without a moment's hesitation, she approaches the part of the crowd where the drink came from and she throws her mic microphone at the fan. Cardi then berates them while members of security retrieved her microphone from the crowd and kicked the fan out of the concert. Of course, that video went viral with over 70 million views and counting. And judging from the reactions on Twitter, it seems that fans were split over the whole incident. Some people wrote things like, she did what needed to be done. People need to stop throwing stuff at performers. And another person said, this trend of attending female artist sets just to attack them is disgusting. And I hope everyone participating gets that energy back. But then there were also a lot of people criticizing Cardi for her reaction, or overreaction as some would say. They claim that she herself encourages bad behavior, so she shouldn't be surprised when her fans do the same. Number 7, Ariana Grande. So as we all know, the singer split from her husband of two years, Dalton Gomez, but it was what she did next that caused a lot of outrage. It turned out that she was romantically involved with her Wicked co-star Ethan Slater, who coincidentally was also very much married at the time. He had been married to his college sweetheart Lily J for about five years but they've been together for 10 and last year they welcomed their first child a baby boy they separated a few months ago likely somewhere around the time that Ariana separated from Dalton then they both started filming Wicked in the UK last year according to Entertainment Tonight Lily J was said to be devastated over this entire situation a source close to her spoke to the outlet and said this is not the future that she had in mind quote she's doing her best to get back on her feet she She's incredibly smart and driven. She is truly the best mother. So while she may be coping as best as she can, it's easy to see why fans have labeled Ariana as a straight up homewrecker, which is a huge accusation considering no one really knows the real timeline of when all of this went down. But of course, 
judging from the outside, it just doesn't look good. Number six, Drake Bell. The former Nickelodeon star caused a lot of panic earlier in the year when he was declared missing and endangered by police. He was then found the following day and claimed that he had just left his phone in the car for the night and that's why he wasn't answering. He insisted that he was fine. But the whole incident had a lot of people wondering, is Drake Bell really okay? He's had fans worrying about his mental health for months now, especially with his recent antics. Back in December, Drake was spotted inhaling substances out of a balloon while his son was in the backseat of his car. Eyewitnesses said that he was inflating and deflating this balloon for more than half an hour while his son seemed to be asleep. A couple weeks later, he checked into rehab to try to get himself some treatment. Soon after that, his wife of five years announced that she was leaving him and moving to Florida with their son. She revealed that she was filing for divorce and a source told Page Six that she had had enough of her husband's antics. Quote, they had some incredibly beautiful times before, but he needs to focus on being healthy and they'll be great co-parents in the future. So for a lot of fans, the unraveling of Drake's public persona is really upsetting to see. Number five, Amanda Bynes. Although the actress has been out of the spotlight for several years now, she resurfaced recently on social media and she looks completely different, leaving fans to wonder what on earth is going on with Amanda Bynes now. So in the latest video she posted, it's clear that she now looks completely unrecognizable. Amanda recently went on Instagram Live to talk about the release of her new podcast and fans were shocked with her platinum blonde mullet, blue eyebrows, septum ring and heart-shaped face tattoo. While it's true that she has been away from the spotlight for several years, she does look like a totally different person, especially if you compare it to the way that she used to look in the 2000s when she was still acting. She's clearly doing better these days though, considering that she is trying to get herself back out there. But that came with a lot of hardships after a long battle with her mental health. And while she has a lot of fans dying to support her comeback, there are also those people who are genuinely concerned. Many are asking where and when she got treatment and comparing her meltdown to the same one that Britney Spears went through. One user even commented saying that it's sad to see the life gone from her eyes. So it's safe to say there is just as much positive feedback as there has been negative. Number four, Cara Delvine. Back in September of 2022, the model sparked major health concerns after she made a series of disheveled public appearances. There was one video of her in particular which went viral when she was in Van Nuys Airport. The distressing footage showed Cara behaving erratically and out of sorts while she was pacing around the car park. She was seen dropping her phone several times, shaking, and just generally unable to stand still. Not long after that appearance, she failed to show up in New York City for the launch of her very own fashion collection. And she also didn't show up to the Emmy Awards alongside the cast of Only Murders in the building. That same month, Cara continued to hit the headlines for various instances of erratic behavior. These included hanging her feet out of a car's back window, arriving two hours late for a flight, looking tired and disheveled after a three-day festival. From that point on, family and friends of the model were photographed leaving her home, reportedly staging some kind of intervention. And this included Margot Robbie and her sister Poppy Delvine. So clearly, it was serious if she needed that many people to come in and support her. Number three, Garrett Hedlund. The star of Friday Night Lights, Tron Legacy, and the United States vs. Billie Holiday was arrested sadly for public intoxication after he was creating a ruckus in Franklin County, Tennessee. And he was eventually released on a $2,000 bond. The man who called the authorities on the star also claimed that he attempted to jump out of a car earlier that day. The arrest occurred just one day after news broke that Garrett had split from his girlfriend at the time, Emma Roberts, with whom he shares a two-year-old son named Rhodes. At the time, he was also going through a series of other legal issues. He was previously arrested on two DUI charges in February of 2020. He was arraigned the same month and was released after posting a $100,000 bond. Garrett was then sued for negligence after allegedly causing head-on collision because he passed out behind the wheel of his car and ran a solid red light at a high rate of speed. His blood alcohol levels has set at 0.36%, which is four times a legal limit. There were also open bottles of alcoholic beverages in the car that he tried to discard before police arrived. So clearly, he is still coping with the stress of that lawsuit. Number two, Gabby Hanna. While on something of a downward spiral, the controversial YouTuber uploaded a slew of TikTok videos in August. Fans got extremely worried when she suddenly uploaded 100 videos of herself after a fan mocked her for saying that she wanted to save the world. And the content of these videos was very disturbing to say the least. She was clearly very emotional and she chose to discuss topics like religion, race, and philosophical views. Viewers took to the comment section asking Gabby to get help worried for her mental health, especially after one particular video where she screamed help me into a mirror. Shortly thereafter, her sister took to social media to explain the situation, claiming that her family are doing what they can from here because 
they were in Pennsylvania while Hannah was in LA. Now, this is where the situation got progressively worse. On August 25th, she uploaded another group of videos to TikTok claiming her home was broken into. At first, she said a man came to her door asking to use the bathroom. Then she let him in and the whole thing was incredibly scary to watch. And coming in at number one, Doja Cat. She made headlines for all the wrong reasons when she started beefing with Stranger Things star Noah Schnapp, all for revealing a private conversation in which the singer asked to be hooked up with his Stranger Things co-star Joseph Quinn. A screenshot of their exchange went viral after it was shared by Noah in a deleted TikTok much to Doja's annoyance. The 26 year old singer then went live on TikTok calling his actions degrading, exploitative and super embarrassing. She claimed that what he did was so unbelievably socially unaware and whack, even calling him a snake and saying that he shared information that she didn't feel comfortable with him sharing. So how did people respond to this drama? Well everyone was surprised with how much Doja blamed Noah considering his age at the time and the fact that in previous tweets she openly expressed her attraction towards Joseph in a lighthearted way. People largely supported Noah in the feud and Doja ended up losing 200,000 Instagram followers in the week after she posted that video. For our number 10 we have Andrew Tate. We are starting off this list very strong and if you don't know who he is, you're lucky. Andrew rose to fame after many saw clips of him saying extremely controversial and even potentially harmful things about mainly women. He's been open about sharing his beliefs as he says women belong in the home and can't drive because they are a man's property. Plus he only dates women between the ages of 18 and 19 because in his words he can make an imprint on them. There is much more harmful things he has said that are too graphic to share but they do impose physical harm. He became one of the most famous figures on Instagram and TikTok as videos of him have been watched over 12 billion times. Whether he's a troll or not, many have been angered with Tate's internet persona as many young impressionable boys look up to him. And with all the harmful beliefs and behaviors he shares, it is very dangerous. Andrew and his brother Tristan were actually under house arrest as there was an ongoing investigation for harm after multiple women accused the boys. Many professionals have been outspoken about the concerns they have when it comes to the dangerous ideology Tate has spread. He was released from his house arrest in August but is still awaiting his trial. His accounts on social media were thankfully taken down and you can probably already guess why. And for number 9 we have Danielle Cohen. She started her internet career and quickly sparked controversy after many who claim to have known Danielle in real life said she's a lot younger than what her mother Jen would say. The photos and videos Danielle posted angered the public as they believed her mom was allowing creeps on the internet to see her very young daughter in the tiniest outfits. Her father even released an image of her birth certificate to prove she was still very young and honestly there's more proof she's younger than her mother claims than proof that she's the age they do claim. She also promotes energy drinks and sites that are similar to OnlyFans which is obviously dangerous. Her ex and influencer Mikey Tua has shared Danielle's real age after the two split and her mom seems hungry for the money. Her YouTube thumbnails would be very suggestive with one video even showing her mom looking through her phone with private images yet proceeds to show the camera them. And just a few days ago she got herself into more controversy after a photo of her seemingly being proposed to in front of the Eiffel Tower was released. But many believe this was staged and a way for her to get more attention. She even tried launching her own body care brand but quickly faced backlash after many many pointed out the contamination and safety concerns. For number 8 we have James Charles. He was the first male cover girl and quickly found success on social media by posting makeup tutorials. However, he quickly lost his success following one of the most arguably publicized YouTube dramas of all time. In 2021, multiple young boys came out publicly to share their experiences with James. As they said, the beauty influencer would send them photographs that were not appropriate. This wasn't all because TikTok videos were quickly spreading of screenshots between James and numerous other boys who all looked very young. Many thought it was a poor judgment of James to DM fans, especially due to the power imbalance, and he has even made it an apology video at the time, but to this day, it seems like there's constantly claims surrounding new boys coming forward. And because he launched his makeup line this year, it sparked another boy to come forward with his story. James used to feature his younger brother Ian on his channel all the time, but since then, Ian actually cut off all contacts with his older brother, and many believe this speaks loud Loudly, especially following many allegations. It seems like every year the same trouble seems to pop up again and many are tired of him still having fans. And for number 7 we have Shane Dawson. Although he was cancelled in 2020, recent news caused the creator to be a trending topic once again, but we will get into that in a bit. 
Before he was fully cancelled, his videos on conspiracy theories were extremely popular as fans would wait months anticipating Shane's newest release. Around 4-5 to five years ago, his videos would gain over 20 million views on average, but after many resurfaced videos of Shane's past behavior, it changed the minds of many and how they viewed him. In fact, Shane shared stories and his thoughts on animals and young children which was extremely disturbing. He also was known for making sketch comedy videos with very stereotypical and harmful depictions of characters where he would even be seen wearing blackface. There was also a video of him doing a disgusting adult action to a poster of the then 11 year old Willow Smith which of course went viral and even Willow's brother Jaden said he was disgusted by this and described this video as the furthest thing from funny and not okay in the slightest bit. Plus Jada Pinkett Smith even tweeted saying she was done with the, all the excuses from Shane. There is just so much gross things Shane got away with for years but once it finally caused a downfall of his career, he seemed to be taking his time off. But just a few days ago, he and his husband Ryland Adams welcomed their two twin sons through a surrogate and because of his past behaviors with children, many are concerned. And for number 6, we have Brent Rivera. He started on Vine and made his way to other social media platforms. He has faced backlash for his cringy content and the clickbait of his weird relationship with his sister as many believe they seem a bit too close. He also was accused of being a content thief after many of his videos do not appear original and copy other big YouTubers including the entire content and thumbnails. But earlier this year, he was exposed by Tyler Oliveira when the two ran into each other at the Stanley Hotel, which is allegedly a haunted hotel where they filmed The Shining. Well, Tyler posted a confrontation video onto YouTube, which quickly gained over a million views in less than two weeks. The video showed two people from Brunt's team dressed up as the twins from The Shining, and they explained they were pulling a prank on their friends for a video. Tyler introduced himself to Brent and asked if he fakes his videos, which seemed to anger Brent as he even called security. But Tyler simply asked him a question after many people pointed out the identical thumbnails Brent uses from other creators. Brent told Tyler Tyler to have fun with his 100 subscribers, which made viewers believe the attitude Brent was giving towards a creator with a smaller following was extremely rude. And for our number 5, we have Alabama Barker. She is Travis Barker's daughter, so that does mean Kourtney Kardashian is her stepmom. She quickly grew her platform on TikTok after sharing videos of her life, makeup, and style. At first, many people loved her, with many still supporting her, but a song she released this year caused a ton of controversy. She attempted to start her own career in rapping, but many have accused her of blackfishing. This is because her rap lyrics makes it seem like Alabama had it rough growing up, like a lot of rappers do. But she wasn't from the Bronx like Cardi B, but rather Calabasas. One lyric read, my name is real exotic, and another line read, they told me I wasn't gonna make it. But many criticized her because she is a Nepo baby, so she was gonna make it from the day she was born. Others said Alabama Barker is the most American name they have ever heard, and she is a natural blonde, but in one video laid her edges and wore a a black long wig, which many found problematic. Many comments accused her of being a culture vulture and stealing inspiration from the black community. Plus, she is not an adult yet, but posts questionable content for a child as she shows off her sheer, tight bodysuit, and other outfits, including a complete open front top with a single string holding it together. Some argue that many people did that same thing at her age, but how she portrays herself, many blame her father, Travis, and even Courtney for allowing her to post this type of content. What do you think. And for our number 4, we have David Dobrik. David was one of YouTube's biggest stars a few years ago, but during the height of his fame, he actually got cancelled. Before he was cancelled, many loved David because of his seemingly generous behavior as he would often give luxury cars, money, even meeting celebrities, Super Bowl tickets, and much more to his friends. Think Ellen DeGeneres before she was also cancelled. His popularity allowed him to collaborate with big celebrities like Justin Bieber, Kendall and Kylie Jenner, Courtney Cox, and even both Drake Bell and Josh Peck and Miranda Cosgrove, which was the ultimate Drake and Josh reunion. That's the type of power he had. But in 2021, his reputation would begin to fall apart after he and his members of the vlog squad, which was a group of friends David was always filming with, were accused by fans that were featured in the past video of SA. David was also facing criticism after having his friend Jeff dangle off an escalator as he was operating it and caused major injuries, including a shattered skull, and even Jeff almost lost his eye. 
Although Jeff stood by David's side, he realized David was not there for him and even blamed Jeff for the incident. Fast forward to 2023, David is still in an ongoing lawsuit with Jeff, but now the company State Farm has even taken legal action against David due to Jeff's incident. David hasn't posted onto YouTube for over a year now and has been posting Snapchat stories of him reviewing toys and running a David Dobrik pizza shop, which many seem to say it's overpriced and not worth it. And for number three, we have Michaela Nagara. This beauty influencer was once many people's favorite beauty guru on TikTok as she gained a reputation for honest reviews. But her career and entire image was questioned after one review she did for the L'Oreal mascara. The video showcased her using the mascara on one eye before cutting into the next scene, showcasing one eye with what she made viewers believe was with one coat of mascara compared to the other eye with nothing on it. However, viewers quickly realized she used fake lashes to enhance the look of mascara without disclosing it. You could see the lash band itself and the drastic difference in the numbers of hair on each eyes. But instead of apologizing and addressing the situation, Michaela continued to pretend like that never happened and instead would poke fun at the situation. Many addressed how Michaela actually doesn't follow the FTC guidelines, which works on disclosing ads. Months following this incident, it seems like Michaela lost a huge portion of her previous supporters because the reviews they once trusted Michaela for had been ultimately perceived as fake. In some videos, Michaela would rave about a product, encouraging her viewers to buy it. But within weeks, that same product would be called awful and terrible by the beauty guru. She also was called out after complaining about how hard her job is as an influencer, which many people were not happy with because she makes millions of dollars recording herself on video, whereas some people in the world work extremely dangerous situations and jobs and get little to no pay. She has since been called out for extreme Photoshop as well, as viewers compare her Instagram photos to her TikTok videos, and some even say her whole wedding was one big brand collaboration after the brand Elf revealed they work on Michaela's wedding lipstick and it seemed like every influencer in the world was invited. Since then, she still doesn't disclose her ads, but certain brands have been making it clear she has to, as her videos for specific brands have real disclosures. Regardless, many people lost their trust in her. And for number two, we have eight passengers. This was a family vlogging channel that caused controversy years ago due to Ruby, who is the mother of the children, and Kevin, her husband, and the parenting advice they were sharing. These two shared six children and just this year was arrested due to six counts of harm they have inflicted on their children. In past videos, many have found red flags and the family's neighbors have even called CPS before. But it wasn't until their 12 year old son escaped and asked the neighbors for food and water. The neighbors realized the boy had duct tape on his ankles and wrist and appeared to be in poor conditions. Before the arrest, there were already Reddit threads filled with others' opinions, which one person shared how her kids expressed to their mother that they didn't have any friends at school because of YouTube and their mother just laughed laughed at them. Not illegal, but not what you want to hear from your own mother. It is just very heartbreaking to know that this family channel that grew to fame due to the parenting advice shared was ultimately extremely damaging to the children. Plus, Ruby and Jody Hildebrandt created a channel and website called Connections where they try to teach others how to heal and set boundaries according to their website. But many say it follows everyday characteristics of a cult. Many were happy that the kids are now in better care and the adults in the situation are no longer able to harm them. And for our number one spot, we have Colleen Ballinger. This YouTuber also played a character she made named Miranda Sings, which was extremely popular years ago, with many attending her tours and even dressing up as her character for Halloween. Well, in 2020, she first faced accusations from a former fan and YouTuber, Adam McIntyre, who shared the fan and idol dynamic they had and why it was quite concerning. Adam mentions how Colleen has mailed him clothing pieces made for adults when he was a young teen and how he would even basically work for her without being paid as she offered him to run her Miranda Sings Twitter account with the promise of one day paying him if it goes well. At the time, Colleen released a video basically making Adam seem like he was in the wrong, even though some of the interactions the two had when he was just 13 years old. Colleen's fans hated Adam and sent him very harmful messages for years. But that was until this year when another former fan came out with screenshots of a group chat Colleen was actively taking place in, with numerous fans which were mostly, if not all, children. In these messages, she would talk about Adam doll activities with her then husband Joshua asking Adams for pictures and claims she would talk badly with other fans, friends, and Joshua to them. That wasn't all because her former husband Joshua spoke out for the first time following their divorce and shared his beliefs that she cheated on him and told the internet to turn on him. There were so many accusations, this doesn't even cover it all, but one thing we do have to discuss was her possibly worst YouTube apology of all time because of the serious allegations she decided to sing a song with the lyrics.
Network's basically explaining why she isn't apologizing. So technically not even a YouTube apology, which has continued to keep her cancelled, plus she released her first vlog in months and many still believe she lacks remorse or responsibility. And for number 10, we have Woody Allen and Soon Yi. This couple has been controversial from the very start because if you don't know, Soon Yi is actually Woody Allen's adopted stepdaughter. In 1977, Mia Faro, as well as her ex-husband Andre Previn, adopted Soon Yi from Korea. But two years later, Mia began seeing Woody and introduced him to her daughter when she was just 10 years old. Soon Yi actually admitted to hating Woody at the time because she claims he wasn't interested in meeting them and the feeling was mutual and she even said she hated him because he was with her mother and she didn't understand why anyone could be with someone that is such a mean and nasty person. Soon Yi also told Vulture that her first friendly encounter with Woody was when she was in the 11th grade and admitted she believes he went after her after their first basketball game as she was more interesting and amusing than he thought she would be. In December of 1991, that is when he had his first physical encounter with Soon Yi as he believed this would simply be a private thing and this information would not be revealed until 1993. While in 1992, Mia Faro found Polaroids of Soon Yi without clothes on in Woody's apartment. And that same year, Dylan Faro, who was another adopted sibling, claims Woody had essayed her. He has constantly denied these claims and is still with Soon Yi to this day. And for number 9, we have MGK and Megan Fox. I think when the world found out these two were dating, it was followed by weird information they didn't ask for. In 2020, the two began dating and MGK quickly casted Megan for his music video titled Bloody Valentine, which is an odd music video which features Megan's feet stepping on his face. He told Teen Vogue that this music video was his favorite for his own personal reasons, adding that it's no secret he finds feet beautiful and even says Megan has the most beautiful feet to exist. The two have given very strange interviews, but I think what sparked the most attention was when he actually proposed to Megan, not with the normal ring though. In fact, it was the furthest thing from normal, at least in my opinion. In January of 2022, that's when the two became engaged as she showed off her custom two-stoned ring that included bands that are actually thorns. Yep, you heard me right. If she tried to take off these rings, it actually hurts. It's technically two rings, but when they are together, they have magnetic bands that make the two large gems appear to make a heart. MGK also added that love is pain. The two have shared how they drink each other's blood and Megan even claims that she has manifested MGK. However, it seems like the couple is on quite some rocks after splitting up, which before you ask, yes, Megan took off her ring, but it seems like the two are working on the relationship still. Weird how MGK wanted to inflict pain if she took off the ring, yet didn't mind inflicting pain on her emotionally. At least that's what sources say the two were on and off about. And for number 8, we have Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater. These two started dating this year following Ariana's divorce from Dalton Gomez and and Ethan split from his high school sweetheart, Lily J. Well, that's what the sources have been claiming after many believe the two began seeing each other while they were with their previous partners. Some rumors claim that the pair would go on double dates with their past partners as well, which didn't fly well with the public. The only person that has spoken about this relationship outside of the alleged sources was Ethan's ex, Lily J. They were together for 14 years and even welcomed a baby just last year. Although Ariana and Dalton apparently have been broken up since January of this year, she didn't file for divorce until September 18th and Ethan filed on July 26th after these two were spotted already seemingly together. Lily told Page Six that her family was in collateral damage and Ariana is not a girl's girl. Apparently Ariana spent time with Ethan, Lily and their baby while she visited the Wicked set in April and they hung out many times before she started dating Ethan and apparently told Lily how she wanted a baby of her own after bonding with theirs. It also did not make things better after many people pointed out the apparent history Ariana has with getting with taken men. And for our number 7, we have Kanye West and Bianca Sensori. Following the divorce with Kim Kardashian, Kanye has not been shying away from the media, especially after getting with Bianca. The first thing people noticed was how similar Bianca looked to Kim. Well, she did look like Kim before getting a makeover which included her getting her hair cut much shorter and dyeing it blonde. Her style is what seems to spark the most controversy because many believe this is Kanye's way of getting back at Kim as he humiliates Bianca in public as she is seen wearing barely anything, or she does wear clothes, but they're see-through. The two allegedly got married just one month after the rapper's divorce was finalized, and it appears her inner circle is not a fan of this relationship, with her parents even fearing for their daughter as they don't agree with Kanye's multiple anti-Semitic posts, but they do recognize how in love their daughter is. Kanye's ex, Julia Fox, recently detailed her short-lived relationship with Kanye as she was not a fan of how she felt like he always had to
to control her, at least in terms of outfits, as he would always want Julia to wear what he wanted and would invite his wardrobe specialists everywhere they went. And Bianca and Kanye have gotten themselves in quite some trouble, especially with a boat company in Venice, after photos of the two seemingly doing questionable activities in public went viral. And for number six, we have Austin Butler and Kaya Gerber. Before we speak on their relationship, we have to dive deeper into Austin's dating history to understand why many fans disapprove of this relationship. Before Kaya, Austin dated Vanessa Hudgens, and this relationship started all the way back in 2011 and ultimately ended their relationship in 2020 after years together. Vanessa made it clear she wanted to get married and have kids while she was with Austin, but never got a ring. And after the two split, they went their separate ways as Austin began dating Kaya Gerber, who was a model and the daughter of Cindy Crawford, and within less than two years, there were already rumors that he proposed to her. This angered many fans as they believed Vanessa deserved better after waiting around for a decade for this man. There were also photos of Kaya with Austin's ex, Vanessa, at the high school musical premiere when Kaya was just a child as she is 10 years younger than Austin. There's also been videos of Vanessa at the same place as Austin and Kaya, which she looks down on her phone and walks right past them. Crazy how the two spent nearly a decade together and now act like strangers. Many also linked Kaya to Elvis Presley in general because not only did Austin play Elvis, but so did her ex-boyfriend Euphoria star Jacob Elordi. And for number 5, we have Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. Similarly to MGK and Megan Fox, many believed a whole new trend was starting after these two girls began seeing these bad boy type of guys. Well, the reason why their relationship is so controversial is because of the love Travis has previously expressed to Kourtney's very own sister, Kim Kardashian. In Travis's memoir, he discusses how he, when he was dating Paris Hilton back in 2006, he would always secretly check out Kim, who was working for Paris at the time. He even calls Kim eye candy and effing hot in his memoir, and in a 2015 interview with US Weekly, he even said, how could you not stare at Kim? Many people began to wonder if the previous thoughts Travis had on Kim was one of the reasons why Kim and Courtney had been constantly fighting. Well, because of how many people were talking about the past, with one user even writing, it's like Courtney's fans are worried he's a womanizer. What she actually responded to by writing, stop it. I obviously shared all that stuff because I wanted to move past it. It was therapeutic to me. But obviously some fans continue to support these two as they believe Courtney is finally happy after being in what some may say a toxic relationship with her kid's father, Scott Disick. And for our number 4, we have King Charles III and Queen Camilla. This royal relationship started off already quite messy as the late princess Diana always made claims about having three people in her relationship while she was married to Charles, and that other woman was Camilla. And at the time, Princess Diana even confronted Camilla during a party as she simply told her she knew what was going on with her and her husband, to which Camilla appeared to have tried to avoid these claims by telling Diana she has everything in the world, all the boys, two wonderful kids kids and asked what else more could she want. To which Diana replied with, I want my husband. It's clear the majority of the public still to this day honors Princess Diana as she is much more favorable than the other women. Don't worry, I'm not only going to focus this relationship on Camilla because obviously King Charles is to blame too and according to a palace insider, they even claimed the two have a very toxic relationship and stated their union is built on the bones of their previous marriages that they destroyed. And another source even said that Camilla's father never liked or even respected Charles and told him to leave her alone back in 1993, while Charles was still married to Diana and Camilla was with Andrew Parker Bowles. And their relationship was exposed after phone calls were made public. Many even call it the Prince Charles Syndrome, which refers to people trading their more desirable partners for less desirable, which is stated on lovemultiverse.com. With a whole article detailing this, what are your thoughts on Charles and Camilla's relationship? And for number 3, we have Will and Jada Pinkett Smith. No surprises here. Just this year, Jada revealed that she has been separated from Will since 2016, which shocked many as the public believed these two have been together all these years with just maybe a few hiccups along the way. Well, it seems like the public does not like the way they presume Jada is towards Will after many label her as a narcissist. Jada has even made it known that she was basically forced to marry Will after falling pregnant with Jaden and her mother Adrian thought it was best for the two to tie the knot. And clearly that was controversial opinion because to this day, people still believe Will needs to pack up his bed 
bags and leave. When Jada had her Facebook talk show, many criticized her for exploiting her husband, especially after the episode where they discussed the entanglement she had with rapper August Alsina. Many believe Jada continues to say she is just being transparent, but some argue being transparent and exploiting your partner is simply not the same thing. In fact, it was all quiet from the two, which was quite unlikely for Jada, but just a few hours ago, Jada revealed that she refers to the Oscar slap as the holy slap because apparently it saved her marriage. Jada stated, after all those years trying to figure out if I should leave Will's side, it took that slap for me to see I will never leave him. And for our number two, we have Halle Bailey and DDG. Following her lead role in Disney's live action of The Little Mermaid, fans quickly shipped her with her co-star who plays Prince Eric before finding out she is actually in a relationship. She is dating rapper DDG and many actually hate these two together, especially after what he said about his own girlfriend. In his song titled Famous, it basically expresses his insecurities about his girlfriend, especially after her career took off and many labeled him as misogynistic. The first line reads, filming a movie now, you kissing dudes, you know I love you a lot, I don't give a F if that's for promo, I don't want to see this no more. Before continuing to rap, why is y'all holding hands in the photo? You know I'm insecure, that's a no no, I keep coming back, I want to leave you but I'm too attached. And fans were not happy with how he was talking about his girlfriend and believe she deserves better after he publicly shamed his own girlfriend plus her co-stars. And for our number one spot, we have Kat Von D and Raphael Reyes. Kat Von D was best known for her makeup brand, which she actually had to sell after she faced so much controversy, especially due to her speaking out about vaccinations during her pregnancy with her son. Raphael and her are far from being non-problematic because for years this couple has not only faced anti-vaccination rumors, but also anti-Semitic rumors. Her husband literally has a very controversial tattoo, which has to do with anti-Semitism right in the center of his neck. Kat literally is a tattoo artist and he could have easily gotten it covered up, but he hasn't. Raphael also calls Kat very degrading words because she had physical relations with his friends while she was under age, which is so harmful because what about his friends? Shouldn't they be the one facing backlash for this occurrence? Well, majority of the public have automatically deemed Kat just as bad as her husband because who would even date someone with that tattoo right in their middle of the neck? And the fact it's still there just speaks words. This is just the beginning of the controversy as Kat in the past created lip shades that alluded to young girls being promiscuous and used the story of Lolita to promote her brand, which if you do one Google search, will understand why this is so harmful. Yeah.